friends. So I'm gonna do a mini pup date on Girly. Good morning. This, this is one leg. This is another leg. And then, and then here's, hi Girly. Good morning. You're so cute. So cute. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> yep, it's time for us to be awake. Wanna go potty? Let's see. Guess not. Alright, I'll make your meal. Give me a few minutes. Okay, Google, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Where'd she go? Oh, she's looking for her food. <laughs> Girl, it's getting ready, okay? It's getting ready. Yeah, this is how she waits for her meal. You've got 10 minutes. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, 10 minutes. So I'm going to go brush my teeth and wash my face. Yeah, no, you're gonna have to wait. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face. And I bet you're gonna ring that bell for me to come back as soon as I leave. Because I know you. I know you. To grass patch. This one's old. A new one's supposed to be coming today, so. This is what she does. When it, there's like the slightest wind, she doesn't want to go outside anymore. Go on. You got this. She also has an indoor pee pad, but she gets treats for using the, the pooch patch. <sighs> it's cold. I tried using synthetic grass, well, synthetic grass, but she didn't really like it. So then I got the pooch patch. She seems to love it. It did freeze because it's winter. <laughs> so it just looks dead. I will probably post what it looks like when it's brand new because it's like nice and green and really beautiful until it, it dies. This has a black pee pad underneath it. I changed that if ever she uses it, um, which she will if it's like too windy because she's picky. Okay, great. So she did actually just potty on there because it's windy. It was a slightly windy, you know she is. Ugh, terrible. So I actually, I dropped my camera. <laughs> oh my God. And now it won't work. So I'm watching a video on how to fix it. Wish me luck. I mean, there will be no video if I don't fix it. And she's going crazy. Ugh, okay. Three weeks later. Girly, are you ready to go to the mall? Yes, you are. You got your cute little outfit on and your bow. Yes, you do. Sit. Yes. You're good girly. Okay, let's go. So this is what we look like going to the mall. I feel like we're pretty cute. 
in sync. Maybe I should have put a red bow in her hair since I got like some red flowers in my braid. Oh, elevator's here. My poor girly, as soon as we got in the elevator, like this other smallish dog, I think it might have been like a be maybe a beagle, bigger than her, but not a giant dog, like lunged for her. As soon as the door is open, it was like, rah, 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 like rabid, like insane. And now she's scared. She's uh, actually, she seems quite relaxed, but she was scared because <laughs> then another dog wanted to say hi to her and she was not having it, right, girly? Yeah, poor girly. That's her in her car seat that I got from Amazon. I like it. I liked the other one more. That was like a box, but she outgrew it since she's about seven pounds now. Yeah, and I wanted her to be able to lay down. The other one she could sit in the whole time, but that is uncomfortable, especially since sometimes, like we drove to Detroit and she was in that seat for maybe five hours. I feel like sitting in it would have been so uncomfortable. You're a good girly. Yes, you are. Okay, let's go to the mall. <laughs> Okay, this is the fun part, right, Gurley? Where's your bag? There it is. So, I actually have quite a few things today. So I'm gonna, like I have a purse. I'm returning some items, so I have that bag. So first things first. Ooh, these people shop at Yves Saint Laurent. Okay, so I've got my crossbody bag and I have this new sling bag, uh, I guess sling carrier, it's not a bag, for girly, cause again, she outgrew the one that I posted in my video. Of course, I'll post the links to these new, new things. I liked the other one more, cause it had like a solid base. Um, this one doesn't, it's, so it's easier to carry around. Like when I take her out, it doesn't bother me to carry it. It's not annoying to carry, but her in it, she kind of moves around a lot and it's really stressful. But anyways, I got that on. Great. Now let me uh, go get her. She always gets really excited. There you are. Hi, girly. I guess I could throw those candy canes out, huh? I, I used to staple those to my Instacart thank you notes. Uh, when I was doing Instacarts, I haven't done them in a minute though, so. But yeah, I guess time to throw those out regularly. Okay, let's let them watch me struggle, put you in this bag. Good girly, yes. Okay. I have my sling. I'm gonna move my hair. And then. <laughs> just gonna shove her in there. I feel like to give me a hard time. You know the deal. You know the deal, girly. Both feet. Or paws, both back paws, and then our legs, whatever. Who knows what we're calling it? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yeah, she's my, she's my best friend. We go everywhere together. Her name is Noir, but I call her Girly. Yeah, Girly. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see, I'm wearing press ons. I make them. You make them so yeah. nice. Thank you. So I don't usually wear them this long during the week because I have to work, like type and stuff. Yeah. But on the weekends. Yeah. Girly McGirl. You're shivering because you're cold. So cute. Material girl! <laughs> Every single day. Every day I want to take my money. Later.
Yes, good girly. Down. Yes, good girly. Okay. Oh, you're still chewing. Okay. Up. No, that's spin. Up. That's your bed. <laughs> that's you went to bed. I'll, I'll do that after. Touch. Yes. Up, 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 up. Yes. Come on. Up, up, up. You're spinning. That's a new one I'm trying to teach her, but you know. What should we ask her to do? Oh, I know. Oh, I have to. Now she's going to give me a hard time. Come. Because I have the treat in my hand. Okay. Okay, okay sit. Come here. Yes. Paul? Yes. Nice to meet you. <laughs> These are the treats that we use. Um, ignore that it says max eight per day. She was at a sitter um, and I didn't didn't want the sitter to overdo it. I don't actually know what the maximum should be. I just didn't want her to give her like 55 treats. Okay, well yeah. So these are one ingredient mini Pure Bites treats. We use the beef liver ones. She loves it. She's on the floor right now. She's like right here. <laughs> She'll follow it. Yo, girly! Currently almost seven pounds. She's also almost seven months. Um, today is the 16th of February and she was born the 28th of July. So yeah, almost seven months. She likes to chew on things. She's right next to me. <laughs> um, so we have a pretty good routine. I'll put some footage in there of what it looks like when I am going to feed her. Uh, sometimes it's better than others, but she got into the habit herself actually of waiting in her bed until I finish uh, preparing her. Look how good she is. Every, okay. <laughs> she knows I'm talking about her. Why can't you just stay there? Stay there, go back to bed. Go back to bed. <laughs> yes. Okay, typically she stays there while I prepare her food. So let me do that. Oops. Help yourself. You're, why are you doing that to me? Come on, go eat. She's on a half fresh food, half kibble diet. So, um, yeah, it takes me a while to, you know, I mix it. I also soak her kibble to make it a little bit softer. Probably don't need to do that anymore since I'm pretty sure she's done teething and stuff, I think. Um, but I, I still soak it for 10 minutes in warm water and then I'll mix it with the fresh food. She likes it. So she'll wait and then she'll wait for me to give her the okay for her to run out of her bed and go eat. It's kind of cute. Um, I made a list of things to talk about because I'm not really, I don't know, I'm a Virgo. I'm at you, so you want to say hello. Hello everyone. Thank you, you're so sweet. So sweet, she just learned how to jump on the couch like a week ago, two weeks ago when I went to Detroit. Maybe a month ago now, I guess, but she just learned it, it's fine. Uh, all right, so. What worked? Um, crate training immediately. Like I started crate training her the day I got her as her Rachel Fusaro, I think her name is. She's a great like trainer and all her videos are online for free. It's, I don't even know, like she should definitely be selling these courses because I did a great job training girly or noir um, <laughs> using everything that I learned before getting her. Right, girly? I get distracted. He's so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, crate training her. I didn't make it like a punishment. I never put her in there when she's doing something that's not great. Like if she's chewing on something or barking. I don't, it's not a punishment. Her crate is her safe space and she loves it. She likes, to, okay. This is getting romantic and it's making me uncomfortable. Consent. Okay, you don't care. Okay. So that worked. 
I would play with her around it. I give her treats in it when she went in there on her by on her own. I would give her treats. That was good. Um, definitely set meal and bedtimes like really strong. Like she eats at eight. Um, before she was on like a four hour every four hour thing when she was a, a puppy puppy up until about a month and a half ago she was eating four times a day so it was eight twelve four and then eight now it's eight two and eight um she is a clock like she knows when it's time to eat she knows when it's bedtime if i'm hanging out in the living room and it's 10 30 she starts waiting by my bedroom door because that's where her crate is next to my bed. <laughs> she'll just start waiting and looking at me like, when are we going to bed? So she knows. She's And she'll walk. Every time I open my bedroom door, let's say I go get something at 11 o'clock and I'm not trying to go to bed, she just walks. You'll see her walking into her crate. It's actually <laughs> it's so cute. But um, yeah, so crate training, I would definitely recommend. It's great, especially if you ever have guests. Like That's her ringing her bell because she wants to go... Oh my god, that's me stepping on her toy. She wants to go potty. Oh, I distracted her. Great. Um, so she rings a bell. I can show that in a bit. Um, every time she wants to go potty, I have a grass patch called the pooch patch. It's a, an, a real patch of grass. It's worked wonders. She loves it. Um, yeah, uh, another thing that worked was training her on the basics. So sit um, down. Day. Um, what else have I trained her on? I taught her how to spin. I'll show a bit of her tricks too. It's a fun time, but she knows those and she learned those within 12 weeks. Like I have a shorts video up of her at 12 weeks old doing all of those things. Like she learned it so quick because um, I was consistent. I did it all the time. Like every time I feed her, I would train her. So she would have to do like a sit or a down or a spin, whatever, to get her food. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Girl. Um, something that also worked and I would recommend getting them used to grooming uh, fairly soon. So I brought, I got her groomed on my way home with her. <clears throat> it's just like a puppy intro to grooming. That was, that definitely really, really worked because now she's six months old and she's been groomed literally like six times and she, it's not a big deal for her. Uh, the only thing that I guess <laughs> that we need to work on. She's very sensitive to sounds. Um, I'll uh, talk about that later, what I wish I did. She's playing with me. She doesn't even actually want to go. She's playing with her toy and smashing into the belt. Okay. Um, all right, so phases that we passed that I'm super excited about. Biting. She went through like a wild biting phase. She chew she still will kind of pick up things, um, but if I tell her to leave it, which she also was trained on doing, she'll just drop it. She'll instantly drop whatever's in her mouth if I tell her to, to do that. Um, but yeah, but she would bite on my toes. She really enjoyed biting on my toes. It was so stressful. Um, <laughs> girly. She even scared herself, she rang it so loud. So loud. Um, something that kind of worked, I think, is the Granix Bitter Apple Spray. If, if it wants to focus, uh, kind of. Ha ha, there we go, Granix Bitter Apple Spray. I got it on Amazon, I'll link it below as well. That worked pretty well. Anything that I put it on, including my toes, she wasn't really interested in anymore. Um, we also, ow. I worked out yesterday. Can you get a cramp in your bicep? Why does this hurt so bad? Okay, we're moving past it. Uh, we also got past, uh, like kind of, I am I will not consider her completely potty trained until she has zero accidents for like a year. But she doesn't have 
as many. At some point she was having an accident, accident every day. Now I can have a carpet in my living room and she's fine, especially since I got that grass patch for some reason, it really worked. She loves going out there. Um, but yeah, she's kind of good. But what I did use when she was peeing all over my floor, um, this Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Eliminator, it's supposed to get rid of the enzymes so that she can't even really track the scent anymore. At the very least, it got rid of the smell for me, and, and that was obviously a big deal. I don't like when things don't smell good. Uh, it does smell pretty strong though. She loves to play fetch. So she's, she's, if you look at my feet right now, there's like just five toys around my feet. She'll just keep presenting toys to me until one of them, well, I think she thinks until one of them interests me, but it's when I'll start to notice. I'm like, oh, there's a bunch of toys. Like she probably wants to play. Um, <laughs> I know you don't need to go potty. I know you don't. You wanna go potty? Okay. <sighs> okay, as expected, she did nothing. She just, I'm convinced at this point, she's a winter dog and she just likes to cool off on the balcony. She'll go out there, she'll just look off the balcony and she'll sit. If there's snow, she'll lay in the snow. We are not the same, because I'm very Caribbean and that's not a vibe for me. I like to be hot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Haven't had accidents, so we passed that phase. That's good. Um, now, what I wish I did. I wish I brought her outside more. Like, I didn't bring her outside. I was so paranoid because she wasn't fully, like, vaccinated yet. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but she wasn't fully vaccinated yet. Um, so I was super paranoid to, like, bring her out on walks or, like, really bring her in contact with too many people. I did play, like, puppy desensitizing sounds. Is that what it's called? to try and get her used to sounds, but I, a lot of it worked, because typically like as long as me, like as far as me, wow, yeah, yeah, it works. As far as me making noise, like if I drop a pen, I could break an entire glass. She barely has a reaction. But when we go outside, this, are you gonna keep squeaking that? Is something in your mouth? Nope, nothing's in your mouth, perfect. Um. When we go outside, like the sounds of the cars, construction, someone yelling, someone running past, all of those things will distract her. Granted, I got her in October and then she wasn't fully vaccinated until like November, I think. Fully, like yeah, November and it was so cold. Like it is still so cold. If you don't live in Toronto and I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Yesterday was minus 25 degrees Celsius. That's an example as to why I don't take her on a walk. I don't know if anyone has a suggestion. I'm just paranoid that she'll get too cold. I do have like a coat for her. I also have boots. I also have like the, the ones that look like balloons that you put on their paws. I have all of those. I just don't know. I'm, I'm worried. Although she likes the cold. Anyways, that's something I definitely would. Okay. She brought her Santa now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I also wish that I left her alone more because I work from home um, and I'm home with her all the time and I bring her everywhere because she's so small. So I just put her in a carrier. <laughs> I like to carry her around in my carrier. Um, so now when I do leave, like to go to the gym somewhere, I really can't bring her. She, she doesn't like it at all. I'll, I'll like put um, a snuffle mat out. I would treat, it's like you, if you watch the Detroit vlog, our first trip, you'll see that she doesn't even touch it when we leave. She doesn't touch any of the toys. Like she just leaves everything and I feel kind of bad, but I'm, I feel like she needs to learn to be by herself and I should have been leaving her alone from day one, but I didn't. So the, I definitely suggest if you work from home, uh, I think Rachel Fusaro, I really hope I'm saying her name right, but she says that she doesn't allow the puppies to like always follow her from room to room or be right next to her. Like sometimes she'll put them in their crate just so they can have some alone time. And I fully intended on doing that. I swear, I even, I had a list of things that I was gonna do. But then I got her and she was so small. She was tiny, like literally, like she was just so small and so cute and I couldn't leave her. I just couldn't leave her. I wanted to bring her everywhere. And now look what I've done. <laughs> now she has, what are you doing? She's so cute and silly, <laughs> but um, <laughs> you know I'm talking about you. You're so cute, girly. We're gonna show them your tricks. Yes, we are. Um, 
Yeah, so definitely leave, leave them for a little bit. It's better for them because now, you know, she kind of panics and I, she's, I put up a fence. She'll hop the fence and I'm concerned that she'll get stuck or hurt herself. So now I just can't even put up a divider. I have to leave everything open because anything I put her in, she'll climb over. I came home once and she was on my counter. She was literally on the kitchen counter. I have no idea how she got there because I left her in like a playpen thing. But yeah, that's, that's something you could definitely work on. Um, anyway, if you are just getting a puppy, I am so excited for you and I hope you have the time of your life and I hope some of these tips help and uh, yeah, you're going to love your dog. Just make sure you leave them sometimes, you, you have to. Uh, if you want to see more of me and my girly McGirl, like and subscribe and you'll see a few other things too, but she's always around. <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs>